Revelation 2566. From the 29th of November 1942. False Prophets. Test the Spirits. The Lord warns you to take heed that ye be not deceived by false prophets. He thereby wants to remind you to test everything first before you accept it as truth. Test the spirits whether they are of God. Consequently, prophets will also emerge from the darkness who assume the right to spread their teachings in the world as truth. Then it will be up to people to scrutinize their sermons. And they will certainly be able to do so if they want to know the truth and appeal to God for enlightenment. For God gave them an indication as to what to look out for, he announced to them in advance that false prophets, false spirits, will express themselves. But they will deny Christ, they will not acknowledge him as the Son of God, as the Redeemer of the world. They will doubt Jesus' divinity and therefore not live in love, for love recognizes and professes Jesus Christ and thus you will recognize false prophets by the fact that they act entirely without love, even though they seek to win people over for themselves with sweet words and enticing speeches. They promise to save the world and want to deprive it of its faith in Jesus Christ. They want to seduce you and of whom the Lord cautions you. They preach love yet their actions are completely devoid of love and their words are deceptive and hypocritical. It is not the Spirit of God which speaks through them but the Spirit of the One from below instead. However, where Jesus Christ is professed in the world, that is, where the Spirit of God expresses itself, you should listen to it. For it will preach the same love which revealed itself to the world in Jesus Christ, it will show you the path to God, it will teach you the love which alone will lead to God. It will try to impart the blessings of the act of salvation upon you and constantly refer you to Jesus Christ, the Divine Redeemer, who came into the world in order to take your sins upon himself through his death on the cross. Jesus Christ came in the flesh, he took the path on earth in order to show you how you can liberate yourselves from the bondage of the world, from the adversary's bondage. He took the path on earth for your sake, for your salvation. You ought to follow him and to this end you must acknowledge him. Hence you can recognize a true prophet by the fact that he will lead you to Jesus Christ, in that case you can give credence to his words, for the spirit which testifies to him is the spirit of God. Yet reject the voice of the one who opposes Christ, for he speaks on behalf of God's adversary who wants to lead people into sin and guides them towards their ruin. Test the spirits to see whether they are of God. However, if God sends his servants to you who testify to him, then listen to them and comply with their teaching, for they are his representatives through whom he speaks to you himself so that you will find the right path to him. Amen.